Caught on camera tonight, an angry mob attacks two guys just blocks from the Austin Police Department. Tonight, the video has gone viral, viewed nearly 300,000 times. And despite all the play, right now, police are having a tough time figuring out exactly what happened. Tonight, KITV's Alex Boyer takes a closer look. January 26, 3 o'clock in the morning, amateur video captures a heated exchange between two groups of men near the 900 block of East 6th Street. Moments later, the guy in the teal shirt throws the first punch igniting the fight. Seconds later, the victim is down on the ground, several guys kicking him in the head. Obviously, there was a fight, there was an assault that occurred. Uh, there appears to be a, a theft portion of it as, as well. You can see one of the suspects pulls something out of the victim's pocket. Then the angry mob turns his attention on the victim's friend, knocking him to the ground as well. There's more to the story besides what's seen there. But Austin police aren't saying what that is, at least not yet. Now, since that brutal beatdown, shop owners along this stretch of East 6th Street have started leaving the lights on outside in an effort to increase visibility. You can see just how dark it was outside World Liquor and Tobacco the night of the fight. Good on, man. Owner Mr. G has been at this location for 10 years. This is the first time I saw like that happen. I mean, never happened before. It's a good day. He didn't witness the fight, but it's clear from this video several people did, including customers at a nearby gas station. Sergeant Jonathan Herring hopes one of those witnesses will come forward. What you say? Near downtown Austin, Alex Boyer, KITV News. Now, detectives have interviewed several people seen in this video, but so far, no charges have been filed. They're asking anyone with information to contact them with whatever they got. Now, in the last week, the spot crime maps showed 38 assaults reported in Austin. There was a cluster near 6th Street and another cluster in North Austin near 183 in Runberg and I-35. Now, you can track crime in your neighborhood right down to your street. Just go to KITV.com, click the Fighting Back tab, and then there you can sign up for the spot crime maps.